Here we have a system, y of t equals log x of t. And the question is, is it a linear system? To find that out, we test if it's additive. If it is, we then test if it's homogeneous. We test scaling. But first we test additivity because that's where most such systems fail. So let's test additivity. That's really easy. We just pass x1 and x2 through the system and then we add the results. So if we pass it first, x1, we should get log x1. And if we pass x2, we'll get log x2. And if we then add these together, we'll just get, sorry, log x1 plus log x2. And then we do the same. But this time, we add before feeding into the system. So the input to the system would be x1 plus x2. Now, if that's my input, what does my system actually do? It takes the input and calculates the log. So the output is just log of the input. So this input goes in there x1 of t plus x2 of t. And for the test of um, additivity to succeed, these two expressions have to be exactly the same. Are they the same? Is log a plus b equal to log a plus log b? Well, clearly not. These are not equal, so therefore the system has failed the test of additivity, so it's not additive, and therefore we can say it's a non-linear system. So we've just demonstrated that a log is a non-linear process, by testing whether it is additive, and we've demonstrated that it isn't additive and therefore it's non-linear.